Hello. I said hello. Better. And welcome to Don't Say Cunt. Hi. I'm I'm uh, I'm Dave Foley, and uh, I'm one of the hosts of Don't Say Cunt. And do I sound muffled? Do I sound weird? No, oh, you sound no, hot. More than, more than usual? Oh, oh, you sound yeah. hot. All right. Okay, yeah. hot is good. I'm confident. Hot is good. So I'm one of the hosts, and uh, sitting across the table from me is the other titular host. You Paul see. Greenberg, and I am always muffled and weird. Yes. And titular. That's yes. true. Yeah. <laughs> he said tit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said yeller. Yeah. <laughs> That's because you like to wear, you wear a suit made entirely of pillows. I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> including a full face mask. I do. Yeah. Yep. That's the only way I can kill people. Yeah. Yep. And uh of course always as always we are also joined by uh uh, uh, uh Jackie Jackie Jungerwit. Do you guys smell toast? I don't know Jackie. what's happening. <laughs> I smell uh, burning toast. I don't toast. know. Yeah. I'm just caught Coming from Dave's head. Titular. Yep. Jackie That would titular be Jackie Harris. Jackie, Jackie. Jackie. Jackie mm-hmm. Yaller Harris Greenberg. Harris Greenberg. Jackie, that's it. isn't it Jackie? Yeah. I have a stain on my Yaller yeah. right now. And uh, Chrissy Guerrero. And and if you oh, you just like raised over Chrissy Guerrero. Guerrero. That. Yeah. Well, well it's Guerrero. Guerrero. and technically Whatever. it's Chrissy Conchita Guerrero. Guerrero. Correct? Yes, her name yes. really is. Yep. Yes. She, yep. That's right. And uh, yes, and if you ask nicely, she'll explain to you about how you shouldn't put bananas in the fridge. Oh, here <laughs> we go again. That's a that's a reference. That's an old timey rep. You have to have actually been alive in the forties. To get that reference, uh, that's the something t- about turning him brown. The Chiquita Banana Lady. She used, I, she used to sing the song. I'm the saying, Chiquita Banana, and I'm here to say. Yeah, but she used, part of her song used to be. Rich. We've come so far with that, stereotypes. Evan yeah. just shit himself because he thinks we're my... getting sued over the Chiquita Banana <laughs> song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or yeah. my introduction is <laughs> all about stereotypes. <laughs> yep. Maybe he just had to shit. Maybe he just had to shit. You know, or that. Yeah. But this is don't say cunt. This is the one place, Dave. The one place where we make a promise to you, the listener, that we will have a conversation, a civil conversation. Guaranteed. Uh, for at least 45 minutes. Guaranteed. In which we will never use the word cunt. Guaranteed. Guar- yeah. You don't get that promise from any other podcast on the air. You do not. Not one of them. Not. Uh, we even have a new sign up today. Yes, which <laughs> apparently we've censored for YouTube. <laughs> We, uh, I don't know if you can see it there. I don't know what it said though. It says the C and T zone. Oh, free zone. That's, that's country music country, television. Yeah. Uh, sorry, country. <laughs> country n- news television. Country n- yeah. music television. Yeah. Country network television. And if you're a fan of underscoring, uh, you may mm-hmm. notice, you may have already noticed that Evan Schletter is in the room. Oh, He's I behind me as always. I thought yeah. you had the like the underscore. symbol underscore. Underscore. No, no. Oh. Un- actually, under underscoring. Our- hey. Evan, give me some eating music. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> what would you like to order? <laughs> uh, I'm not ready yet. Can I just look at the menu? I just Sure. The specials? Do you want to hear the specials? No. I just like okay. to look at the menu. Thanks. All right. Can I get you some water? No. I'm good. Thanks. Okay. And you, sir? Huh? You want some water? I, c- I work here. <laughs> um, but sure. Great sure. improvising. Yeah. <laughs> just, no. And aren't you going out with the Who's Line people? Yep. Yeah. That, with yeah. that skill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here, I'm going to huh? make you an offer, yeah. and you just change Here. it, say no, and walk yeah. away. Try it on try it yeah. me again. All right. Try yes, sir. Would you? Hello, sir. Welcome to Goodbye. the cafe. I can't hear you. I'm a fork. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. This is why you two don't have an improvising show together. We can. <laughs> we could have the best, can shortest we, can improvising show Can't we just show have an yeah. improvising show? Yep. Huh? Dave, what's your least favorite thing about improvising? Um, least favorite thing? Oh God! No uh, names. Uh, <laughs> 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 my I, my least favorite thing about uh, improvising is uh, watching other people do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Even when you're on stage, is there anything <laughs> doing it? Is there anything worse than an improviser watching other improvisers? Oh, uh, it's just it's horrible. No, but they pretend they like it. You oh. have to, or else you won't get invited to the party. Yeah, that was great. You went there. I like how yeah. you went there. I like how great. you thought that yeah. thing up. Uh, yeah. You really went there. That was great. Remember that thing when you were opening the uh-huh. window, but there wasn't a window there? Yeah. That was so cool. I was like, he's not going to do that. Yeah. Oh, and then he went there. I, re- yeah. I really thought you were cleaning dishes in a kitchen. Wow. Yeah. Great. That was Improvising great. sounds horrible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, what I like is after the show's over, uh, everyone, like, I don't remember it. 
No. <laughs> at all. No. Well, to be fair, or, will you remember this conversation? No. Happening now? No. No. I mean, and to be fair, has has it, does it, it warrant it yet? <laughs> does it warrant any? No, no, you're right. Should I, dedic- should I be transferring to my long-term memory at this point? No. Or just keep, right now, I'm I'm struggling just to keep it in my working memory. I know. Just You're, you're just remembering to breathe. Yep. How short is short-term memory? Stay. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Huh? <laughs> Hmm. Fuck five, you. Five does four. does five does four. Paul ever get into long term memory, or is Paul only in your short term memory? <laughs> he's, he's only got we. What, we guys, what's long term memory? <laughs> it's for tall people, Paul. No. So oh, I guess tall people I guess do. it's like to remember things you see over other people's that's heads. That's right. Yeah. It's hard to process. That doesn't that. happen to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or process for the Canadians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Process, eh? Process. Let's have some processed cheese. Mm-hmm. Do you know that most of our perceptions of the world when we look at it are memories? Come on, like right now? Like right now. Most of what we see, we don't actually see. Why would I bother remembering this? Yeah, I'm just saying that when we when we look at something, 50% of the activity in our brain is in the memory centers like not and not in the op- the optical centers of the brain. So when you when you see a table, your your brain sort of gets a general idea of it and then just fills in all the gaps from other tr- tables you've seen. My head hurts. Yeah. So uh, so everything you see is basically half memory. Wow. Why do I keep getting the bad half? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why does the table keep slapping you? Yeah. <laughs> Why is the table covered in rape? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yep. That's mm-hmm. memory. Uh, yep. Okay, whatever. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh-huh. You know, well, in technically speaking, none Maybe. of this is really happening because we're all just light shadows. We're shadows of light. light. Because the time it takes... For you to reach my eyes, it didn't. It already happened. Well, that'd be a reflection. <laughs> oh light. shit! So what are those things in the my thing, house? The thing behind you. What are those things in my it house? That's be shadows. Behind you would be a shadow. Well, Eben. that's because Eben calls himself the shadow. Yes, he does. Um, <laughs> Eben, play some shadow music. He's doing it. It's scaring you. Shadows. Are no, I meant white mm-hmm. shadow. Moon <laughs> shadow, moon shadow. I meant Shadow Stevens. <laughs> Whatever happened to Shadow Stevens? I don't know. I used to see him all the time on uh, the uh, what show? The Craig Ferguson show. Yeah, he was, he was the uh, announcer. He had oh, amazing their announcer. Hair. Remember his hair? Yeah. 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 That's Shadow Stevens. Shadow Stevens. Mm. Yeah. I used to play pinball at a place in Toronto, and there was uh, the guy who gave the quarters out. His name was Shadow. Huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was he very scary. The Federated guy. Who? Shadow Stevens. The federated guy. Federated guy. That's called a uh, Russian. Maybe that was and that's not your... What's a federated guy? What's that It was mean? A, an electronics store. Oh. Uh, federated. That, was federated. I that doesn't think, sound... I think I don't he think... did... I think he was the federated I'm guy. I'm not from here. No, oh, no. Little... Federated. I don't know. That's... That wow, up. it sounds like a great store. It, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it was electronics and Shadow Stevens. I, oh, I, I love that story. She also, tells wasn't it every he a Christmas. DJ? He was a DJ here. Yep, he was a DJ. What do you mean? He was a DJ. He was like a radio guy? Yep. Yeah, radio guy. Yeah. And he that's was on got, the... That's e- how he got big. And, and that's how he got to be on the uh, Hollywood Squares. That's how? Yeah. As a as punishment. As, <laughs> as a, because as he a was DJ. a radio guy that looked good. Yeah. There's not a lot of that. Well, good news. He's still alive. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. And he's got his own website, just so you know. Yeah. Does he have a show they on Sirius Radio? They don't just give those out to anybody. <laughs> nope. <laughs> they gave one to us. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's very yeah, exclusive. Yeah, that's the point. I, I mean, believe there's only about oh, 30 five, websites in the world. I think it's 68,000. Yeah. 68,000 websites mm-hmm. worldwide. That's All right. It. Yeah. He Who's was the cat? federated guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Right. I know well, that means nothing to you. You know what? I'm really glad we settled that. <laughs> yeah. I am. <laughs> Evan, do you know what I the federated store is? Uh, no, when you said federated guy, I thought you meant like the guys with the red shirts on Star Trek. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they have to get shot. Right wow, away. that's a federation no, nope. guy. Federation. Right. Oh, yeah. I see. Although I would guy. like to hear the federated uh, theme song sung by Shadow Stevens. Go, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> really an improv mood. <laughs> every <laughs> every will, theme song sounds like that. Will I get in trouble if I play from YouTube? Yeah, you will. Uh-huh. Oh my God! Well, left I, the page on oh, YouTube. Right? Uh, wires, public forum. Play right? a, your wires. Get your buttons. Keep it a keep snippet, it. and it's for purposes of yeah. commentary, and it's already well, exists in a public it. forum. So there, all you dear. Sue happy people. And what's the likely that a lawyer would listen to the show? Oh, that's well, we got one. Let's because we're listening right behind me. But yeah, they figure I'm listening. They don't need to. Yeah, that's right. RCA close out huge man of bigger than big beyond the beyond and we won't that's shadow Stevens enough what federated's created the deal of a life he's almost like an auctioneer of the century 
going to have Talks millions fast. of dollars worth of RCA TVs, yeah. cameras, RCA and more. TVs. And how many do you need? What are those? Wow. Uh, Video, uh, VCR cameras, good. TVs. Is there still yeah. RCA yeah. TVs? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. There are. There, there are. are. Yeah, you have to go to a Kmart. Oh. Well, there you oh, go. Well, that, I'm you sorry. Know what? That was the. Oh yeah, I'll play you the Federated theme song. Goes like this. It's exactly how I thought it would be. Well, we can only do three bars of that. I, well, I can't believe they they got rid of the federated guy after did, the, did the such federated a great store, run of commercials. The well, federated store was probably one of the first to to drop when things uh, to die. They were probably put out of change. business by Radio Shack. Yeah, or by Star Trek. Radio Shack was already. <laughs> I just uh, for those of you watching that. at home, I, saw I actually just hate ran hate into face. the microphone with my mouth. Yes, yeah. I yeah. saw that. Um, but uh, they they were around when hot. Radio yeah. Shack was around. Oh, but not when like no. Fast I was going to say, but that's like but, the way my face ran into Jackie's fist this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, but to be fair, you were asking for it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I shouldn't have worn those shoes. Don't look yeah. at me that way. Mm -hmm. Don't you look at me that oh. way. What do you mean? Oh, we're, we're role playing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right now. Yeah, yeah that's right it. Now. That's a. That's, that's about as. Work. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'll put it in my mouth. Oh no! What? 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 <laughs> oh my! Thought anything goes. <laughs> safe word. That's my safe word. Process. That's safe word is your safe word. <laughs> <laughs> safe <laughs> process. That's yeah. Safe word. Safe word. Safe word. Maybe not a great safe mm, word. Actually, safe. safety. My my safe word used to be deeper. <laughs> <laughs> and laughed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, goodness. Uh, well, here we are in Sunset in uh, Kawanga. Yeah, I'm having a little nap Fine. right now. <laughs> I know, it's so beautiful out. It's, it's it, lovely. It lulls me into a I state. I know. Uh, Oklahoma. That state? <laughs> wow. <laughs> If you're going to get lulled, uh, that's lulled. the day to be lulled oh, in. Oh, God, yes. California yeah. is beautiful, uh, isn't it? It is beautiful. It really is. You know? Driving mm -hmm. along sunset, and all of a sudden it feels like you're in a forest because the trees cover the road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then someone throws urine on you. Yeah. Not on Sunset Boulevard in that part of town. No, it's fancy now, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sunset used to be different. When you're going it used to be all knifey. Brentwood and <laughs> Bel Air. All knifey. <clears throat> Beverly Hills. Yep. All the way out to Hollywood, where we are right now. If you if you could pick any part of town to live in, what would it be? Um. Oh, any part of town? Any part. Jeez, I don't know. Well, uh, this is going well. <laughs> Dave's What's asleep. That? I think I have uh, the the bell tower of the Beverly Hills Police Department. <laughs> That's fair. That's yeah. a good place. That's yeah. a great place. Yeah. Nice yeah. safe. Mm -hmm. Have the Very library safe. next door. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice yeah. view. Bye and I you. think I'd just like howl a lot. Yeah. And mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd I'd I would pick the uh, basement of the Chipotle downstairs. Yeah. Well, the basement of the what if I didn't even know they had a basement. Oh. Yeah. Would you be the phantom of the Chipotle? <laughs> Is that what you? <laughs> yes. I'd I'd wear half a burrito on my face. <laughs> You really only need a tortilla. I made the greatest burrito. Christine, I will have black. Oh, white. <laughs> Christine. Christina here at Chipotle. Christina. Oh yeah, it's Chipotle. You got to hurry up. We got to move this line along. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 <laughs> go, go, like, go. Christine, go. I would like to order. Next song. Christine, I will have. Next song. Go. Next. A burrito bowl with brown rice <laughs> and the vegetables. <laughs> And why is the tofu like so it. spicy? <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> why did you tell me it wasn't spicy? Why did you change the recipe? Has it always been? Do this you hot? remember when Chipotle for, first opened up? How it's spicy that so shit spicy. was! That it was would it? It, well uh, for Canadians, it would kill me. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, it seemed pretty mild. Well, no, they put no. ketchup on everything. They didn't have them in uh, Canada. They still no, have, still not. Do we have them in it, Canada now? No, Chipotle's no, no. They had a Chipotle on uh, Beverly Drive, and it almost killed me. Yeah? You know what happens what? if you steal something from a Chipotle? What? what? They call the Chipotle. Oh, no. <laughs> That's an uncle joke. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I just thought of an your uncle niece, joke. Your nieces yeah. and nephews would appreciate oh. that. Would they? <laughs> they would. Oh. See, I'm used to, at home, when somebody makes a joke like that, Dave... Dave really threatens to disown you. 
<laughs> right. So it happens once a day. That happens. It's yeah. legal. It's it happens legal. A lot. It's a legal yeah. stance. It's true. It happens. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's, it's a so. type of abuse. I've yeah. been, yeah, I've been trained. Yeah. I've been trained yeah. to have that reaction. Yeah, don't, don't make it. Yeah. yeah. Uncle dad jokes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Ugh, Uncle dad. No. Yeah. That's creepy. All right. Yeah, that's a place in the country. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Right? <laughs> was, like, dad, how come you don't make any dad jokes? Call me Uncle Dad. <laughs> Call me Uncle Dad. Uncle Dad. I'm confused. Are you my uncle or my dad? Are you with us tonight or your other family? <laughs> oh, Chrissy's leaving. What Hi. happened? She thought if she did it quietly, we wouldn't notice, but... She's got a craving to tell bad jokes, and she's going to yeah. do it in the other room. <laughs> it's like farting. <laughs> it's like you go into another room, and mm-hmm. oh, you want us to do one of those things? Add. Yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to pause um, uh, because there's the potential that some of you what? may be encouraged to spend money, money that you worked hard for. I what? think it's going to be for On sour cream. Dave, that it sounds ad. like you're talking yeah. them out of it with the attitude. I'm just saying you don't need to be pressured like this. Dave, that's not how advertising you work works. hard. Dave, you're telling them keep to keep your their money, money in your what? pocket. What? Ads don't work that way, What if way, it's Dave? an ad for sour cream? Yeah. You well, can make your own ad. French onion right. chip dip if, if you it's combine an ad it. For Super. sour cream or something that looks alarmingly like sour cream. Oh, oh, that's so many things. Yeah. Then enjoy this... this. This uh, this uh, ad for some product or service or sour cream. Mm. Mm, there's that. Oh, that's the, the federated, uh, federated thing ad. We can, yeah. Now we're gonna have to pay for it again. Oh my god, they're gonna break us. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Well, you know, Shadow Stevens is 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 a talent. Come get your wires. Come get yeah. those knobs. Come on down to the federated. Is that what it was? I think so. Was I don't know. Is that kind yeah. of it? No. I think we had an ad for uh, yeah, was, for oh, budget ER. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's like the, fix it yourself, not the best yourself. Yeah, <laughs> our doctors are, aren't trained, but they're cheap. They're they're kind of like doctors. Yeah, they'll do their best. Yeah, they wear they wear scrubs. Yeah. yeah, come in, take your chances. They'll do their best. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You're where else you can go? You're bleeding from the head. Do where you else think? You can go? Do you think people that are on the medical shows for many many years playing really like major doctor surgeons? Do you think that over time they actually do develop? some sense of recognizing certain Ill- illnesses only or the insane they'll... ones no but i mean seriously don't you think like what's her face um you know gray <laughs> bless you time. see she'd know she'd well, be like that's a sneeze well my friend uh i believe her name is maura tierney yes i know miss maura tierney, she was on man. a she was on a medical show that was, was much on... more successful than the show i was on oh my her. god she was on her she was on her she was uh, on her uh, and uh, the, she had learned all kinds of medical talk. Just but do you pay, think? Say, and I don't think she knows. I don't think she learned I think, anything. I think she, maybe she learned something. On I don't her. think so. We should ask her. Yeah, I played a. I played a. Uh, you can ask her sometime. Yeah. I played a. Uh, what do you call it? The paramedic once. I had uh, a yeah. bunch of lines like Ringer's lactate and stuff like that. that Ringer's I lactate. <laughs> I think so. What kind of a line is that? Mm. And yeah. I did it, and then they said, "Do it for real." <laughs> and I tried it again, and they said, mm, and they eventually just took away most of my lines. Yeah. Gave it to another guy because I I had a question mark on Ringer's lactate? <laughs> uh, well, you got to admit, it's, it's... It's hard to say those words. Yeah. It's hard. Without questioning. I, I auditioned for Elizabeth Hurley once as an ER nurse for a film up in Canada. Oh. A lot of was she ER. directing it? She was producing it. Was she hot? Producing it. She was yeah, stupid course. hot. Yeah. She was stupid hot. It was Canada, so she said so to herself, "I'm going to dress super hot because it's Canada." She was wearing like cigarette jeans and a cream cow neck sweater. I hate uh-huh. that. And she sat with one leg up on the couch, you know, yeah. like how yeah, people yeah. do. She has legs. Yeah, yeah she four of them. She, she got four really legs. Good. Four legs. She's what? a centaur. So really Wait good. a second. Was this a dog? <laughs> Elizabeth Hurley. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. And what's no his dog. face was in it? It's a good-looking dog. What's well. his face was in it? What's his face? Yeah. Oh. I'm assuming you mean Hugh Grant. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. There. And you were already. Not I a win couple. this round. Your best. Ding, 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 they're ding, ding, best friends. Ding, ding. Whatever. This is, this is the game show nap. where there's one question that happens near <laughs> the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Can we turn this into a game show? Let's okay. do it. All right. All right. All you right. guys are tied. All uh-huh. right. Here's the tiebreaker. We all know the rules. Yeah. I was gone for the rules. Uh, a train is leaving Chicago. Uh-huh. I don't know. I can't do it. James. Charles Nelson <laughs> Riley. 
Ding. I win again. Yeah. The silver bullet. Mm. Dave uh, and I were on um, all the family way down. feud. We are on celebrity family. Celebrity feud. family. That's right. Uh, yeah. He likes to make Did sure we win? know that it was celebrity, celebrity family, Did family feud. feud. Did you win? No. No. We were was robbed. Rigged. Well, hold on. Who hold was on. Rigged? Wh- hold on. Which, was which family feud were you on? Celebrity. No, no, no. Tell me which one you were on. Celebrity family feud. But which family feud were you on? <laughs> celebrity family. No, 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 no. Just yeah. tell me the one you celebrity. were on. Celebrity. Who was your family? Third base. I had, uh, well, Chrissy. Uh-huh. Me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Alina. Alina. I thought you said it was family feud. Yep. <laughs> yep. And uh, Tony. Five, right? Chrissy's brother, oh, Tony, Tony. And her mom. And my mom. Now, wow. Te- Karina. Te- technically, yes. Dave. Yes. If, it, if you're on family feud, shouldn't be that other part of your family? Well... Hmm? I mean, if they lived here. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to have flown. That wouldn't have been. I mean, that he, wouldn't have been. He would have lost celebrity. either way. They're my celebrity family. <laughs> yeah. Did you win? Who we did. We, uh, we were against? totally robbed. Were you, we were, we were up against, against a, uh, basketball people. Yeah. Were you against Fisher Jaylen, Stevens? Jalen. Yeah. Jalen. Yeah, I forget. Um, names. I they forget won. because but we're not he, sports. They were all basketball people. But big tall. So, for instance, I was up against this really like seven foot. Basketball There's player. There's no people seven feet tall. That's not no, no. He had seven feet. Paul, there are people <laughs> that have seven feet. No, yeah. seven foot four. Yeah, basketball player. Not yeah. possible. It, no, it's true. Five ten and is there about was the me. limit of a human being. Does and, that mean uh, seven but, feet on four legs? But if you, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, there was. If you septipedal, was we fair? actually um, paused the video. Mm-hmm. Oh no, and I totally buzzed fixed. ahead first. She, yep. I buzzed she first. beat so, him. Uh, is there someone but running? They gave, it to him. they gave it to him. Yeah, because they didn't want you because to win. Did you fight it? What's his name? What's his name? Mustacho man. Yeah. Oh yeah. He was so oh, into Burt uh, Reynolds. Uh, yeah, Burt Reynolds. He gave. <laughs> did not care about us. Did not in the least. Did not, not a bit. Care for us. Not a bit. So because he didn't <laughs> like you, the game somehow shifted in the other team's favor. Yeah. 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 We were winning all along. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, Just like that that quiz show mm-hmm. movie. It's exactly, oh, well, yeah. exactly. Wait, like were we show. winning all along? I exactly like. No, we never won anything. No. Paul, yeah. was, on a, Paul no. was on a game show. <laughs> we never got a chance. Yeah. I, was, I was on we Jackpot sold. in Canada. Jackpot? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where uh, you sit and it's 15 people and they pan the camera over all of us and it says, because it's a Canadian game show, it says, one of these people is holding a riddle worth hundreds of dollars. Well, oh. Oh. Hold well, on. look. Oh. Oh. Slow Hi. your roll, Paul Greenberg. Rob, Rob's a brecky. Rob's a brecky. Rob. 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 How are Rob. you, man? Well, Phil, please grab a, grab a, grab a position. <laughs> Hello, this is that's your position. Mm-hmm. First position. Welcome. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's you and he. It's been swelling as you walked in. <laughs> talk, music. Talk I mean. into the thing. I'm what this uh, thing. Yeah, that's you can even move Rob, it if you how want. How are you? you Hi, everyone. Hi, Chrissy. What's Hi. happening, guys? Hi. Hi. Wow, look at the view. Uh, I know. Isn't this amazing? Yeah. Oh, it's fancy, right? Yep. You have nice things. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Not have really you ours. ever been on a game show, Rob? No. I'm talking oh. about game shows. By the way, this is Rob Zabrecki is with us. In Rob the, Zabrecki. Uh, in this, he just walked in and joined us. Yes, he did. Never been on a game show. You guys never. Have you ever I've watched on one? Show. You I, ever watched I have one? watched one. There, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I perform a game show in my magic act. You do? Ooh. Yes, uh-huh. called Win or Lose. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Those are the options. You <laughs> those are the those <laughs> yeah. are the two yeah. choice. Yeah, that's it. Definitely and a game show. It's, yeah. It is a game. It is a game show with with cues and such and. Uh, I'll give this away. It's rigged. What? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like so. family like, feud. Just talking like, about that. Fucking like, quiz show. The other one. Family feud. Fucking yeah. quiz show. It's yeah. rigged. Wow. It's rigged. Mm-hmm. Why? Because like, I, I pick the people, uh-huh. and yeah. I pick someone that I like, and someone yeah. whose face I don't like. Uh huh. And then from there, I ask questions, and they, each each participant reaches into a bag, and they select a question, which could be something like, um, "What is your first name?" And she says, Jackie. Chris, Jackie. And so Jackie oh. gets a prize. Oh. <laughs> which is expired <laughs> hamburger meat. Uh huh. Oh, oh, a package like of that. So she well, gets to hold that. Okay. Yeah. And then the gentleman reaches in the same bag, and his question is, the Catcher in the Rye was published in 1950. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the proofreader? Oh, that's good. <laughs> he doesn't get it right. Yeah. So it goes on and on like this. And the, the winner ends up with this abundance of junk where she's kind of holding all this stuff. And the guy's standing there like a buffoon. And I look so powerful. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, love, I love any kind of entertainment that makes people feel badly about themselves. Yeah. That's yeah. why I got into it. Yeah. Really. I mean, yeah. I'm sure. That's right? magic. No, is the best for that. Oh, it is. Magic's all about Someone loses. The it's, magician always wins. Oh, because it's just humiliating being a, <laughs> yeah. a volunteer in a magic show and it's humiliating being a magician ah so period <laughs> period yeah, yeah so, many yeah. <laughs> yeah. so many yeah. levels so many levels you have to make someone else hurt because you're hurting are right. you one of those are you one of those people that started at nine l- loving it and wanting to be a magician uh, 
No. no, no. I I stumbled into magic in my mid twenties. I couldn't really? understand oh, that's magic. Weird. Well, I didn't even know you Usually could start. They that start late. as children. I, I thought know. it was like the Russian ballet schools. I was yeah. the last one in for sure. But yeah. with but, a stick. Yeah, but I was bitten bitten by the bug, as they say. You know, I was in, yeah. I was in Baltimore. Um, Lyme t- disease. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, touring with my rock band Possum Dixon in the nineties, yeah. and uh, hot day. We loaded our gear into a, a nightclub. And I wanted to walk around downtown and see if I could find some of the locations that John Waters had used for some of his films, like Pink Air, Flamingos. And, yeah. Uh, no, no, no Pink that, Flamingos, yeah. Uh, Female yeah. Trouble, yeah. Polyester, mm-hmm. stuff like the that. The real stuff. The scr- like real stuff. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. The I mean, scratch and sniff stuff. Yeah. There's a cutoff point. With I mean, I love John Waters, but the, his the early stuff was really influential. For well, me. the end of Pink Flamingos is the most disturbing thing I've ever seen in my entire mm-hmm. life. Still. Yes. Or, the be- or maybe the best thing. Or the best. Yeah. I See, I gotta go. It's something... Anyway, um, so I walked in, uh, I'm walking around downtown, and it was hot. It was total. It's like a summer afternoon, and uh, looking for a place to cool off. There's an air conditioner outside of a magic shop, mm-hmm. so I walk in, and I'm looking around. And after say ten minutes, I felt a little guilty for not making some kind of a nominal purchase. Mm-hmm. So I say to the guy, the gentleman who's working there, "Do you have a trick I could perform for a couple hundred people at a nightclub?" And he says, "What about this?" And he pulled out a little. <clears throat> silk handkerchief and he put it in his fist and it vanished and i had never seen magic performed before so it was that was amazing and it was amazing that i could buy this trick for ten dollars yeah. so i did and i took it down to the club and then that evening around midnight a couple hundred indie rockers are in this club and uh our guitar player broke a string and i said hey anybody have a, a wrapped condom because i realized that the device to vanish this object could also the, the silk handkerchief could also vanish say a condom Ah, uh-huh. uh-huh. that was my my brain started. It's very, smart. it's thinking. a very punk rock uh-huh. version of uh, magic. Yeah. Something it was it was mm-hmm. punk in its ethos to that it was like oh, this is something different that I'm just going to do and it worked, you know. So people responded positively because mm-hmm. you made the condom disappear. I did mm-hmm. poorly, but it did. It went and in my it face. Went away. And it there went are other away. ways yeah. to make a condom disappear. <laughs> do tell. No. I don't want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> All right. And they got their son. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So anyway, that start, really that, that was the beginning of it. And then I came back to LA. The tour was on the, you know, Baltimore, New York yeah. and, and some other East Coast venues. And then we drove back to LA and then my girlfriend, who is now my wife, had a pass Aww. to go to the Magic That's Castle. That's also a good trick. Oh, Magic Castle. Mm. Yeah. And so we went there for the first time. What year are we talking? 96. Wow. Uh-huh. Yeah. 96, 97. We lived here. Mm-hmm. You were there? Mm-hmm. We, yeah. We were, we, were you going to the Magic, Magic. Castle? Yeah. You were, we were there. Uh-huh. I saw you there. Yeah. We always... We I, came to, <clears throat> I came to visit LA in 1976 as a child, and my aunt was dating a magician from the Magic Castle back in 76. Really? Is that... Mm. And took her. They took them all. And uh, did you get to go? She no, I was oh. a child. They didn't, they didn't, the la- they didn't they like kids in back then. Only the, Only the brunch. Only the brunch. Yeah, I don't even know if they had the brunch back then. I don't know, but uh, she yeah, said brunch the, was invented in the. I 80s, had him show me right. a card trick. <laughs> <laughs> he he showed me a card trick when I was ten, and he yeah. said, "If you ever show anybody how it's done, they'll kill me." <laughs> And I believed him, and yeah. that was his way of being funny. Yeah, and I didn't find it funny, and I think he was murdered. Yeah, I don't know if he was. So did you, do you remember? Remember when Fox did that stupid show with the, show the, the secret showed, magician who was? Oh yeah, who, you know, who was blowing the lid off magic. Yeah, the mask, the magic, yeah, the magic. magic. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you've yeah. been lied to for years. Yes. Yeah. This is the part. This is no. the part where she slips into the stairs and he walks. <laughs> That's but that show makes you realize that the assistant does a lot of work. All of it. Yeah. yeah. You know, the in those probably like in the that big show. tricks, you know, in the yeah. vanishing and yeah. But it's mean. No that show was just mean. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, who did who did he think he was helping? Who you know? The people. Network, I, network executives. Did you know who yeah. he was, by yeah. the way? You know yeah. You, yeah. You probably knew who he was, right? I, eventually, I did, yeah. I think everybody found yeah. out of him. People, people, the people in the magic world all knew. I think he was already ostracized. Oh, and that's why. Probably need, yeah. needed a job. And, you know, he should have been wicker manned. That's what, uh, <laughs> that's, that should have been yeah. his yeah. fate. It's not too late. Especially because yeah. it turned out to be Fisher Stevens, which is so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Fisher Stevens is always playing a creep these days. Yeah, yeah. these like, days. Like he ever played these something, days. something else? Uh-huh. Used to, now he plays old creeps. Used yeah, to play young he plays creeps. guys yeah. that rape young pretty girls yeah. all the time. <laughs> yeah. Not that I watch those shows, but we all know yeah. I do. Yeah. I got ask, did you did you started late? So did you find you had a natural talent for magic? Did zero, you have to do zero finger natural. exercises? Did you get that dexterity going? I wasn't really a sleight of hand person so much as I was. I kind of dove into definitely card trick so there was a little bit of that but i knew i'd never catch up with like the the shredders like mm-hmm. the eddie van halen 
Well, mm-hmm. Ricky's kind of, was kind of a shredder, yeah, for cool. sure. He yeah. he qualifies as that. Um, but I took a different approach to it altogether. Where I realized that I could, you know, kind of use more physical, uh, more you know, mind feats, right. and kind of used what you know my visage to present magic as opposed to trying to be you know an out of this world sleight of hand artist because i just didn't have the the years yeah the chops of the the years of Mm. practice as a kid that you were like Mm. punk rock guy at the same time well (laughs) that's all i had really i mean my background in music was you know that was i just did not understand magic i didn't care about it it was not something i thought ever about like when i was a little kid ronald mcdonald brought me on stage you know the actual ronald mcdonald yeah the one the one one from tv was at my school and he brought me up it, was, it wasn't yeah, it was John Wayne oh, Gacy. We met <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, we met the original. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but the, and it was like a horrible, mortifying experience and not good. So I just didn't have, you know, some people have those, the uncle who says, oh, here's a magic kid. Or, you, you know, you have someone take you to the magic castle when you're 12 like you did. Or, no, they took my mother. They just yeah, told took your me mother. Yeah, well, you were the plus one. But still, you had the opportunity to go, oh, maybe I something I'm interested in doing or whatever. Mm-hmm. For me, it was just, that just didn't. Exist. I got a magic trick every year of my, a magic kit. Oh. I think every year of my life. <laughs> oh, wow. And From I, the same people? I uh, just you always get them. And I, yeah. I don't think I ever learned to do a single trick. Yeah. Like other than, other than the one where you just like tip the box over and it does something. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I had, a, I was given a magic kit yeah. too. And I was like, do I want to play with the magic kit or have friends? <laughs> <laughs> I was given a magic kit and there was one that had like a little egg cup thing where you could oh, make yeah. the egg disappear but it was really just like half an egg and it fit into Don't the lid. Oh, no, no. no. I'm giving that. That's that joke. Oh, oh, I'll censor it. I'll censor it. I'm this secret guy. You're going to get us all killed. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus. At least we have a lawyer here. That's good. Oh, oh great. Here comes Pen Gillette. <laughs> Rob, Rob, didn't, weren't you also, um, didn't you also play, uh, weren't you on a creepy, one of my creepy murder shows? Were you on Criminal Minds? Yep. Yep. Yeah, playing the creep. Yeah. Were you so, a creep? Were you a creep? I was a creep. Yeah. So that's the thing. It, by creating a character kind of at the Magic Castle, uh, I developed this kind of character, you know, right. that, to, to present magic. I was just too scared, scared to do it as mm-hmm. myself, as, you know, Bob's yeah. there. That was not ever an option. Character, right. huh? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that le- had led to kind of a, another reinvention of, of becoming an actor and right. using that one little, that one little character has taken me, you know, on shows like Criminal Minds and movies and kind of around the world doing stuff. It is, it is safer sometimes when you're doing something weird like that to have a persona that you can play. I, I, yeah. I mean, creep I was, is good. Yeah. Cause I, all I know is when I tried to do magic as myself, it was, I would sweat so bad and my mm-hmm. ass would just shake like this back and <laughs> right, forth. Right, right, right. And I just was like, people That's a weird go, act. It was, yeah. A, it was a, yeah, it was like weird, not in a good way. Yeah. It was not avant garde or cool. It was just like wrong. It was, it looked amateurish and just yeah. terrible. Mm. But as a character, boy, that was easy because they could just, oh, just become someone else and step into somebody else's skin. You get and the ass just settled down when you know, <laughs> totally yeah. stop. The whole well, that's thing. not happening right now. There's a confidence. Zero. Oh, okay. Oh. Add. Uh, <laughs> add. Okay. Uh, all right, everybody. We're going to pause for the potential of an ad. Mm. Uh, again, we don't know that there will, will be an ad. This, this, there is a potential ad. It's very, it's very much like quantum mechanics right now. It's uh, like things being in two there, places at yeah, once. There may be an ad. It's like an egg in an egg cup, is right. it there? No, yeah. it's not Top like that. Half of it is. No, it's yeah. not like that. You know that. what? Fuck no. you. <laughs> right now, there's the wave function of an ad. Yes. And let's see if it collapses into an ad. Well, it was a wave function of um, diarrhea medicine. No, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it was. Well, yeah. everybody needs well, it. No. no. Um, Rob, uh, you have written a book. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what did you do that Haven't for? Haven't you? It's called Ass <laughs> Flapper. No, what is uh, your book? My your book, book is about? called I Love Pain. Here, I'll show you. Oh. Uh, no. And uh, by the way, awesome review in uh, the LA Times. Oh, oh, oh I, I didn't know. Is it know. nonfiction I didn't know. or fiction? Well, we I, didn't. I well, brought two copies, Yay. and you can tear them up and distribute Ooh, them amongst right. yourself. Hey, what is the great <laughs> cover? Uh, or right. just look at the pictures. Cures. A memoir. Yeah. A memoir by Rob mm. Zabrecki. Yeah. It's amazing. So 13 years ago, I set out to uh, start making sense of this weird life that I kind of feel, felt like I had. And uh, it just became chapter, 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 mm. rewrite, rewrite, rewrite. And now mm. I've got a book. Great, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it was a huge, massive undertaking. Definitely makes me want to learn to read. (laughs) 
Or just look at the pictures, really, yeah. Paul. That you know, they're in there. Oh, there's pictures. There's pictures Ooh. of the condom. The condom now, pictures wow. in there. You I think. could yeah. look th- there, like look a that, depression Jack. era. Well, What's happening? I can't see. You would have been a good Lincoln. Yeah, it's you not too late. I think Lincoln. I still might have yeah, shot. Still, oh, yeah. yeah, you still you know. could. Yeah. You, look, sure. you yeah. got a bit of a Raymond. You have a bit of a Raymond Massey. I love when there's photos. Raymond Massey quality. Yeah. All right. Oh yes, he does. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Canadian, you know. Yes. Yes. I, yes. I was just in Vancouver. Walter by the way, Pigeon as well. Break. Canadian. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just want to make that clear. Why is Robbie Benson in, in here? Why is Robbie Benson in there? Because I was trying to escape from Burbank, and that was the oh my, my that was it in the late eighties, trying to yeah, come totally come over to the side of the oh, hill. Yeah. Like, Whatever, it's, yeah, it's not that cute a photo. Why'd you have oh to my show god, it really Robbie says Robbie. Benson. You look like Robbie Benson. Is that They're really Robbie photos. Benson, or is that, that is you? Re- that is really me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, mm-hmm. you, you are really Robbie look Benson. like Robbie Benson. Yeah, that's back when you. But that's when you were in Ice Castles. It was just after. Yeah, that was the live version. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so so I I just had this conceit I could write a book. And, mm-hmm. you know, like most people love memoirs. And everybody says, oh, yeah, I'm writing my memoir. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And I was just slowly kind of plucking away at this thing. And then a few months ago, I decided to send it out to a few publishers. And this awesome uh, local publishing company, Rothko Press, said, hey, th- your book is done. Let's put it out, like, soon. So that was it. It was this kind of like four, you know, four months later. I'm looking at this. I'm holding yeah. a copy and out talking about it and doing yeah. readings and stuff. And it's a, a big deal, you know. And is it when is, is it mostly about you, your younger days in L.A. or no? It, it, the, it starts as a like little. It's you know, it's like everybody has their little weird little kid stories, you know. Yeah. Tell it apart. So it's there's this handful of those, and then it dives into getting into music and coming to Hollywood to see bands and stuff like that mm-hmm. and then starting a band of my own for 10 years yeah. and then the successes and failures that go with that and then reinventing myself as a magician to, to the story I told you about about going to uh, this magic shop in Baltimore. And it's all told in Dr. Wow. Seuss verse, which is very <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I a Morse that. code version I'm working on as well. <laughs> yeah. Now, where yeah. are you from originally? Burbank. You're, yeah. from, you're from Burbank. Yeah. Oh, that? oh yeah. wow. I didn't I know. Yeah. I don't think I've ever oh. known anybody was who's Burbank from Burbank. Was Burbank as beautiful uh, back then as it is today? <laughs> no. Nope. Beautiful downtown Burbank. It was not. You no. Know, oh. It was desolate, I would say. Yeah. 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 I mean, I know it's, it's quite nice now. It's quite nice really now. Nice, yeah. yeah, I had no affiliation with showbiz at all, like zero. What and high school did you go to? John, John Burroughs. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that's the Burbank school. It's yeah, a good school. It's pretty great. Was yeah. it tough back then, or was it fun? It was fun. Yeah, it was mid eight. So it was not, I, I graduated in eighty six. It was really fun. Mm-hmm. I loved it. I did too. You loved it. You loved at one, sp- I was in eighty six. Yeah. Yeah, I loved oh, yeah. my high school experience. Me yeah. too. I graduated. I graduated in eighteen eighty six. Yeah. <laughs> You hide it well, mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, you know, I was a I was a really awkward little kid, and then by the time I was in high school, I became a popular teenager. So there's a big there was a big turn at yeah. that point. What's that like? <laughs> 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 Which one? Uh, yeah. So there's it was weird. It was, you felt guilty because you're like when you're a weird little kid, and then you become a popular older like. kid. Well, yeah. there you go. Mm-hmm. You know. Why? What made you popular? I think I was nice to people, and I just wanted people to like me. Yeah, because you look like fucking Robbie Benson. That's what it does. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Let's get real. Yeah, come on. I saw that photo. I, I had like pretty I'd blue be... eyes. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, yeah I, I don't think popular I'm kids are famous for up. being nice to people. <laughs> Yeah, no. I think you're That's mistaking the... popular kids for foreign kids. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice to everybody. Yeah. I gave kids rides home. I had an old Volkswagen square back. I had a car. Oh, I had a car. Back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You had a car. You look like Robbie car. Benson. You had, had a car. car. Had a car. 68 Volkswagen square back. Yeah. yeah. Mm, yeah. See? Cool one. Yep. Well, you found one kid who doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's, you're not perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I don't like him. <laughs> and people. I hate that guy's stupid car. Yeah, <laughs> guy Robbie Benson lookalike asshole. Yeah. I rem- I remember c- coming. I came to to L. First of all, I came to L. A. I stayed in Burbank. I stayed in Steve Higgins' house. I lived lived in house his house for a month, mm-hmm. and that was in the what was that, mid nineties, mid <laughs> mid mid nineties. But Burbank was f- so polluted then. In, yes. Yeah. I was it bad so. in the eighties and seventies? It was so bad they would send you home with there was there was smog alerts. Yeah. yeah. You got going home okay. today. Is that part of the valley where everything like, just stays. Other parts yeah. of the country get snow days. We get we got smog yeah. days. Yeah. 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 Park, right. Yeah. I think it was like on Angelino Street and like literally about three blocks from the from the mountains. Oh yeah. So and I didn't above, know they yeah. were. I didn't know they were there. Oh. Until <laughs> one day, it, I was there like almost a month, and then one day it rained, mm. and I looked up the street and said, "There's a mountain at the end of the street." Wow. Oh. 
you couldn't yeah. see it at all. Yeah. Yep. And every was like. and every day, uh, you'd like you would go pick figs off the tree in the backyard, and mm-hmm. you take and the figs would have a quarter inch of soot on them. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Mm. So, how did yeah. you feel about Johnny Carson saying from beautiful downtown Burbank every night? <laughs> I'd go. Where is downtown beautiful Burbank? <laughs> <laughs> because it, when we're, you know, I grew up in the, the Flatlands, Magnolia Park, like I was going to say, Magnolia way. would be yeah downtown down there. Burbank, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, San well, Fernando or, or, or the San Fran, like kind San of where the mall yeah. was. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But where they where they broadcasted the show from was actually near Warner Brothers, and it was very much in yeah. the Flatlands. Yeah. So well, I don't know who came up with that term. It's, it was always really confusing. Anyone in Burbank? Where is downtown? Because yeah. there was this mall, but it was kind of a slightly yeah. ghetto. Yeah. Yeah. That was actually. That's Gary like, Owens on Laughing, wasn't it? Was it? I don't know. From Burbank? beautiful downtown, beautiful downtown Burbank. Burbank. This is oh, Gary, Gary Owens. Gary Owens. Uh, yeah, right. Right. I mixed it up. Didn't yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. thought it was on Johnny Carson. They did something like that on the Tonight Show too, though, because I remember. Yeah. Well, I remember when I first came to LA, seeing the Burbank, you know, Burbank on an exit. And it, it was a yeah. Tonight Show I thing, wasn't it? Think of the Tonight Show, yeah. and I think it was Carson himself used to say "beautiful downtown Burbank." Yeah, it was for sure. But I think it was a joke, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it was yeah. a big yeah. old well, joke. There was no downtown, and it wasn't beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice, nice to show. I'm just saying, back then, now it is. Um, only Rob, when you, only yeah, when you yeah. were there. Yeah. Yeah. Rob, um, is it true that you're an auctioneer? Yeah. Is that true? How? Yes. How? Well, uh, when I was transitioning, from, when I got out of uh, music uh-huh. and I was getting into magic, yeah. uh, I bought a house. Uh-huh. And I bought at, at an auction. At a, no. Wait, you were a music, musician, a musician, and you were able to a buy house? a house. I was one of the two. That so it could. was basically a refrigerator uh, box, <laughs> is what you're. No, it was actually a cool Silver Lake bungalow. Silver Lake yeah. bungalow. When you could buy houses yeah. in Silver Lake yeah. for, you know, it was, yeah. it was a much different. It was in the ni- early nineties before, 90s, before, before they were a million dollars. Yeah. He ruined everything. Yeah. Back, yeah. Ruined Silver Lake house. Yeah, I'm still confused. Well, so I bought the house, but I couldn't afford it, so I had to get a job. Yeah, and where I got the job was at the auction house. It was at Butterfield and Butterfield, which is now oh. called Bonham's. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Yes. And so I had the good fortune of falling into the entertainment memorabilia department because <gasps> um, I could kind of write and I was able to, you yeah. know, set up for auctions and scripts would come in in costumes. And I kind of knew some of that stuff. I loved, you know, just being a fan of movies and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I fell into a really cool department and I became a cataloger, writing catalog descriptions. And then... Uh, they started offering classes on every Friday. You could forfeit your lunch and come to be an auctioneer. Wow. wow. And I'll tell you, and then we go, and then you're always at the auctions, phone bidding and kind of just keeping an eye on, you know, where the bids are. It's, uh-huh. it's, it's a whole, there's an art to it, but it's also very, there's no room for human error. Right. Uh-huh. And, um, oh, yeah, no, none. It's and there's a job. Yeah. <laughs> but you know who the, my favorite auctioneer was for sure? Um, Vivica Pollan, who is Will Farrell's wife. And uh-huh. Will, Will actually worked at Butterfields uh-huh. for a short period of time before I think he went to SNL. And she worked there for long after. Yeah. And she was a lovely, and I would imagine still is a lovely auctioneer, meaning you always know where the bids are. She's very clear. You've got 500. Would you like 550? Don't right. let her get away oh. with this. And then she's having these conversations, right. and, in the, and the eye contact is like this laser focus right. that good auctioneers have. So I, I really like watched Vivica and kind of got most of my, my chops. You'd have to take it all in. Yeah. You could, you'd oh, have to have and, really good eyes. And once somebody got, and you've got a bid here, and then they're going over here, but you've got to know that this, are you in or you out? Okay. And you and there's whole right. things going on. And then in a lot center field, you've got over here, and it right to the left. And don't be cheap tonight. Come on. I, I have a signed this. Casey Kasem 8 by 10. How much would that go for <laughs> right now? Auction it. And go. Go. Not much, I'm afraid. <laughs> That's it? That's my whole auction? Yeah. Sorry. Give it again. Can you do, do I that have thing? Going once, that? going twice. Give it away. You know, blah, 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 blah. I can't do it. Well, that, yeah. you know, that's because that? what you're doing is catalog, catalog auction. Happen. Yeah, so you know this. So you, uh, why do they do that at catalog auctions? Uh, why? They have a, such a high volume of of have cows first. that they have to get through per hour that the, it, there's, a, it, that's, there's this, this language and vernacular that those people mm-hmm. know and understand. Christie, Sotheby's, Bottoms, Butterfields. They the don't do that. Gallery style, they can go really fast. They'll, they'll want you to still do 75, 100 lots an hour. So you've got to kind of be quick, but you've got to know, you've got 100, you want 150, go 175, 175, so we go $200. Has, has anyone ever got oh, oh, real, I like that. Has anyone ever gotten really mad at you because you missed their bid? Yes, they have, Paul. What happens <laughs> when that happens? Do you back away and no, disappear through you, a curtain? You have to take control. So and, and the guy man. had his hand up. But you gave it to someone else. Saw her first. Mm-hmm. Saw her first. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hammer, That's moving it. on. So, and wow. never apologize. You just kind of move on. And afterwards, you deal with the rage. And you then you run. 
<laughs> wow. Right. Oh, or whatever. Right. But yeah, that, that certainly does happen. That's, That's part of it. Because they'll wait. You know, like you'll say, and $300, last call at 300 fair warning. And then the hand goes up. And this, you know, it's like you're, you're, yeah. the muscle in your hand is going down. Well, you're not going to stop. Yeah. It's like once the, in, once the referee has the intention to blow the whistle, the whistle is blown. Right. Precisely. That's yeah. You got it, Dave. You'd be good auction. You'd be good auction. Dave, yeah, you'd you be a good auctioneer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't. I will oh, not. You're great so, at scanning. You know what, I will brook no argument. You know what's great? Because Dave's so observant about yes, other people. Yes. It's true. <laughs> yeah. That I think he takes pick everything up in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. You're a giver and never My, falls asleep in the middle of a sentence. Oh. That'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot fall asleep in an auction for sure. That not not possible. No. Yeah. yeah. Well, then maybe it's not the job for me. <laughs> Now that's of the th- of your. Do you, now are you you're, you're you're doing music again too? Are you not really? No, because we saw you do that brunch show. Yeah, you did a one off. That was great. Thank you. A one off. Um, I made a I made an EP with a few songs a few years ago and d- agreed to do a show for the label I put out for, but it wasn't anything I was you know. Yeah, I'm not oh. trying to. Oh, it was a fun. Thinking show. of magic. Thank huh? you. It was really fun. Thanks a lot. Yeah. It was. yeah. Are yep. you still doing Magic Castle shows? Yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah. Can you yeah. build yourself as a musician? Ooh, yeah, I could, but I wouldn't. No. I would. <laughs> Whoa, that's he just shit on your idea. I know, and it's a great marketing <laughs> wow. tool. I know, it's a great oh, marketing that's idea. Great. That's Dave's specialty. Yeah, yep, Dave is Take awesome. It. I'm all marketing. about marketing. Take that's it, right. take yeah. it, and go run with it. And you I'm can. Gonna, just... I'm gonna plug your book. I, was I, yeah. I really. Oh, you no, do it, you Chrissy. It. No, Chrissy has a much better voice. No, no, and no. go, Chrissy. No, really. No, I was go. just gonna Chrissy say, don't forget to go out there and get strange cures. Rob Zabrecki's memoir. This is it. Purchase it at a bookstore. You can purchase at a bookstore. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. I wish we had, I, I wish, I do wish we had more time because I would love to hear more about all the Silver Lake days, all the yeah. old days. Yeah. They all happen. Yeah. I'd love to sure. hear about the killings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, those yeah. happened. You know, that shit went down. Fucking. Oh, sorry, honey. I'm at the auction house. Kill yeah. murder. The place closed in 75. It wasn't my help. It, was, it wasn't my fault. It was my persona took over. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'll make you yeah. disappear. It's my auctioneer character. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Cool. Well, thanks for having me come well, on thank your you show. For you guys here. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. This was yeah. fun. Yeah, really fun. Thanks. I learned a lot. <laughs> I did. About killings. It's what we're all about. We're okay. all about learning oh, a lot. This yeah. is the part where we have to read things. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, w- we would like to thank, as as always, because well, they're just always here uh, <laughs> Dustin Knaus, Lauren Afnier, Kaylin Rushing. Uh, do we, you got you got Kaylin in brackets this week. Uh, yeah, because he's not he actually hasn't here. Been here. Her name. He's not actually here. <laughs> he hasn't not been here. Name. You know what? Take Kaylin Rushing's <laughs> thank you that I just said, and uh, and just throw it in the fucking just garbage. Shove it up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> shove it up the ass. That, that one's instead, for you, Kaylin. Instead, why don't we thank Hazel Tito, who actually uh, who does our scheduling? Yeah, and here. does something. Yeah, yeah who exactly. actually. Yeah, Kaylin. Jesus you can subscribe Christ. to Don't Say with Paul and Dave on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast, which is probably iTunes, Stitcher, or Spotify. Very yeah, nice. probably. Uh, follow us on Twitter and Instagorn. What's that? <laughs> Instagorn. Well, the Gorn, What's as you know from Star Trek, are a lizard people. <laughs> oh, it's a Star Trek Instagram thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, Just gotcha. Yeah. And that's at Don't Say Paul Dave. There's no mm. Also, we're on, you, we're on YouTube now. We're on oh, YouTube. we're on YouTube. Yeah, that's, that's why, why we had that's to cover up the, that's what all this that's is. Why that's why we had to cover up so, the U yeah. in that word. For our, in that yeah, word that that's we right yeah. yeah we're on youtube the under word that doesn't have a u in it under taylor nope, swift there's no u <laughs> under that little white yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right well oh well, i guess i should get ready here you should get ready because i'm about to throw to you yeah uh and say well thank you Thanks, and, and and until next time see you next tuesday